exploring how social media can be more social, really by adding this emotional layer that connects uh, personal technology like your phone with social uh, shared displays like you see here. This is a display that you'll also see on the other side of this wall that illustrates how uh, you can project anywhere essentially. But you'll see two a couple different facets of this emotional layer. One is trying to capture emotional context at the, at the moment that a picture is taken. So you can see, for example, as we scroll through here, the images have different colored frames that reflect uh, the feeling that uh, is associated as a picture is taken and also the feeling that people assign to it as they're looking at a photo, how a picture makes them feel. With the first, what you can see as an example is this picture that uh, someone uploaded yesterday and uh, added some words that are very positive, beautiful, pretty, cute, and uh, those words triggered the sentiment analysis software and caused it to, to codify the picture as uh, delighted, right? Because those are very positive, high energy words. If the words had been gloomy, sad, depressive, argument, you know, you might have seen a different color frame around the photo and a different word appear. Um, now someone else can look at a photo at any time. For example, this photo is one that, um, you know, that I, I would maybe someone tagged as, uh, let's see here, um, maybe someone tagged as satisfied, but I look at and I say, well, actually, this picture makes me, makes me feel tense because I, I'm not sure I did a good job explaining it there, right? So you can, ex you can change the sentiment analysis software. So the point is to have uh, you know, technologies that you know, are emotionally intelligent and also invite emotional intelligence. The um, other aspect of this technology is showing emotional history. So like any relationship with technology, we want to evolve over time and understand our emotional experiences over time. So you can see that as you scroll back in time over different places, you can see different emotions and different ways of expressing those emotions.